Hey everyone, welcome to another Painting with Jay. It's been a while, so I'm going to talk a lot today and keep you up to date. I'm a little bit under the weather, but all's good. It's cold out. Winter's finally hit Canada. Uh, today I'll be working on a piece of terrain, actually. I've, um, I'm going to have to re-glue it quickly, but a uh, piece of terrain. It's going to be good. Actually, should be okay. To... That was it. So, I'm going to work on this piece of terrain today because it's been a while since I've actually worked on some terrain. And I figured, no better way than Painting with Jay. That way I can talk, get it done, and I'm going to just grab some models, grab some brushes, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our worlds of unpainted models, shall we? And, uh, yeah, let's get started on this week's Painting with Jay together. Hey, everyone. Sorry, I apologize for all the clutter. There's a bit of clutter on my desk. That's okay. I'm kind of reorganizing my workshop right now because uh, it just wasn't working out, ideally. So today I will be working on this piece of terrain, and um, yeah. So right now I'm going to take some um, bronze, some sorry brass scorpion, brass scorpion. Sorry, I apologize. And I'm going to just be painting in all these little pieces in like here. I was debating whether or not I should go with skeletons or uh, brass, but I decided to go brass with them. Using a quasi big, no, not big, but just a medium brush because otherwise this would take forever, which is still going to take a while. This entire video will probably be me painting. Hmm, I might switch brushes for a sec. No, that's okay. I don't remember where my brush is that I needed. Today will be mostly just me painting the brass areas on this piece of terrain. So that's going to be good. And then afterwards, I will hit it with a, an Agrex Earthshade and then uh, a dry brush with a lighter color. Yeah, I don't like the way the, the bristles are working against this. I need something with a little tighter bristle. Let's, uh, let's find the other brush. Otherwise, I'll just take out one of my new brushes. Or my unused brushes, I should say. Yeah, let's use one of them. Why not? It's time to break one in. Painting with Jay. Yeah, there we go. Brand new brush. Let's use it. It's a nice piece of terrain. Not the most efficient way of using a brand new brush, but whatever. Let's do it. Um, by the way, Adam. Adam. Yeah, I know you can hear me. Uh, you missed a spot. Right there. Yeah. Felt good saying that again. So I'm back. And this has been a pretty good week. Um, you'll probably notice by this point, there will be four videos, I think, for the week. Because I've definitely already put up a, uh, it's a kind of reboot Q&J episode where it's only like a five, ten minute video. But the goal of it was just to answer some questions that I've been getting a lot lately. And then to invoke more questions to f start off the, the series again, right? Um, and yeah, and there was definitely a battle report. It was an old uh, battle report that when the new Goskull supplement came out. I, I'm going to play the next the next several videos are going to be the Goskull Thraka supplement, the new one. I tried it in a variety of ways. It was fun. And it was also the last battle report that I filmed on my old... Um, terrain tabletop so the next ones are going to be on a city the um realm of battle city table and it'll be fun um but most of the, not most uh about a third of the train third to maybe 40 percent of the train was lent to me for the battle reports by my friend dave and he recently needed them back so i'm going to start um I'm going to start building, painting more terrain, as I'm doing right, right now. And I've also ordered a little bit of uh, a couple pieces of terrain from GW. Directly from GW, because the two pieces I wanted were direct order only. And so they'll be here probably end of the week. And I'll keep working on them, probably for next week's episodes or something. We'll see. But yeah... 
Uh, this week has been kind of a trial week in a few ways, but I'm going to see if I could produce the content with the, uh, the time frame I have, seeing how many views I get, and a few other ways. Because right now, you're my confidants because you paint with me. I'm, I'm actually in a state right now where I've done some stuff recently that I might be able to quit my... I, have to, I work two jobs on top of painting. I'm sorry, top of uh, filming, right? And painting, of course. But um, I work two jobs. One is basically basically full-time hours. And then the other one's part-time. And then I film on the side, which is why, obviously, there hasn't been a lot of content. You know, when you're working 55 hours a week, you can't, you can't do much. You know, much else. I get home and I usually crash. So today, or sorry, this week, um, I am only working one of my two jobs. Which I, like, to be fair, I work full-time hours, but it's usually like six days a week. Six, you know, four eight-hour shifts and then two smaller ones or something, or some combination. So this week I'm going to see how much work I can get done. And it's been a pretty good week, you know, in the... In the the Warp has three videos so far this week. Um, which is pretty good. And for free, I this is going to be the fourth. You know, there was the Miniature Painting 101. Uh, there was the Q&J Battle Report. So, I don't know if Miniature Painting 101 is up yet. I kind of forgot to release it. So I should really just release it after this video. So there won't be like it won't be in the correct order for the week's videos, but that's okay. That's okay as long as the content starts coming out. So yeah, what I'm testing is because re recently I've made some some changes in my lifestyle and a couple other things, just little things, right? Like I got a housemate. I really didn't want to. Um, I was kind of fighting that urge for months and months because I really didn't want to get a housemate. Um, just if it's not the right person, it's a quick way to really complicate your life, right? I don't want to add, like, for those of you who've lived with housemates, obviously, most people have at some point, and I have many times before, right? If they get along, perfect. If you don't get along, crap, you know? And I just didn't want to start that situation again, you know? I'm. It's been a, a interesting year, and I just didn't want to do it. But eventually I bit the bullet, and I thought, you know what, I'm working way too much. I can't keep doing this every day, day in, day out. Like, it's 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 wearing me out. Wearing me very thin. And I ha can't film. Like, I've, I've had no energy or time. And some days even desire. Like, I'm so tired to, to film. So, I... I hit the point where I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should start looking for a housemate. So, and this is the weirdest part. Uh, literally, my first week after I figure out that I'm gonna get, I want a housemate. One of my, a, a woman that works at one of my jobs, mentioned that I got to her that I was looking, and she was actually looking for a housemate as well. She, uh, she was renting a place, just a room. And she was having problems with her landlord. So, perfect. The chocolate peanut butter situation, you know? And so, yeah, I, I, she's not, as far as housemates go, she's pretty good. You know, she's pretty quiet. And she doesn't really understand what I do, like most people for my videos, that's okay. You know, she, and the best part is her moving in has cut down my living expenses, right? She's paying about, I don't know, almost 40% of the rent, 35, 36% of the rent. I know what you're saying, maybe you should split evenly. Not really, because I use a lot more of the house than she does, Like I, but it's okay. Um, 
So, yeah. So she's cut down my living expenses, which is really good. And then... I've just made some other things. Like, I've stopped buying fast food every day. I used to buy, eat a lot of fast food. So I stopped that. And I bring my lunch every day. I've been doing that for about a month and a half now. So that's good. Look at this. It's coming along. See, a larger brush just really makes a huge difference on this. So yeah, both choices, you know, have allowed me to dramatically decrease my living expenses so I can... The choices then is, do I continue to work two jobs and then film on the side, rarely, or do I cut down to one job and film a lot more? Like this week, for example, I haven't even had pressure. Like I haven't even, it's been, like I've been able to get the videos out you know, if this, if I had a little bit more time, I actually could have probably done a, well, I'm going to still work on the warp content for the week, but it could have been, you know, the next couple of weeks put together my, the, you know, how to play 40k episode or something. So. Today is Black Friday, so it's one of those crazy shopping days. Now, Canadian Tire, I went to Canadian Tire yesterday. Canadian Tire is red Thursday, right? Um, and I bought a couple things. I bought some gifts. I'm not mentioning who, because one of the people I bought for watches my Pino Jays. So, I'm not saying. But at that, I bought a Christmas tree. You know, I'm trying to get more in the Christmas spirit this year. I want to have fun just because it's a month till Christmas. So this year, I'm going to just have a good time. I'm putting up a tree. I got a good tree for an amazing price, though. I, got, I bought a fake tree. And a great price. And uh, I'm going to decorate it and just enjoy it. Enjoy the season this year. Of course, I'll be working almost every day between now and Christmas. But still, I might as well enjoy while I'm here, you know, while I'm outside of work. This piece of terrain's coming along. Watch Jay paint one color on a piece of terrain. <laughs> but yeah, Christmas has started, of course, and in Canada, like obviously, Happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans. I think Thanksgiving was this last or this weekend. Um, this weekend's for Americans. Thanksgiving in Canada was in October. Right, it's the second week of October. But in Canada, um, what typically happens is there's Halloween, and then, so Halloween music is like Halloween themed, everything's Halloween until obviously the day of Halloween, which I'll talk about my Halloween. It was a good Halloween as well. I had fun. I did what I always wanted to do. I made a lot of kids' nights. It was really cool. But um, I'm just going to wash off my brush for a second. It's starting to clump up. So, and then Halloween, and then what typically then happens is things become Remembrance Day themed. I guess in the States it's called Veterans Day or whatever, but, um, you know, it's, it's to remember the, the, the war vets and stuff. And so Remembrance Day is next. And then the rule, the typical rule is for, like, if you work at a grocery store, like a grocery store or retail store or anything, you can't, you can start doing Christmas stuff. But typically, you can't start like playing Christmas music until the day after Remembrance Day. It's typically protocol. You don't. It's kind of disrespectful to jump straight to Christmas or something. 
So typically Christmas season doesn't start until November 12th because November 11th is Remembrance Day. So yeah, so November 12th comes and then everything's Christmas. You know, I was at Costco in October and everything was still like already Christmas. So it's, it's pretty... It's pretty um, quick to hit, you know. Now everything's Christmas themed, so I'm gonna start listening to my Christmas music, have some fun. This year I have some ideas, and I'm gonna do a thing. And I've actually started this, and it's gonna be good. A, I'm gonna actually get my Christmas shopping done quickly. And everyone says that every year. I know that people are always like, I want to get my Christmas shopping done. I've already started, and I'm uh, about a third of the way done already. So and it's it's still a month out. I'm, uh, I'm going to hopefully, I don't think I'll be able to get any shopping done today, but maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll get some more done. Luckily, um, I'm doing a joint gift for my mother, which is nice because I love when the siblings get together and just do a joint gift. I love joint gifts because rather than getting, you know, my mother a bunch of little things that she may not appreciate, we ch we chip in, get her a really big gift that she would never buy herself that we know she would love and that she uses. I really love that idea. Now, obviously, it's not about the presents or anything, but I love, I really do like spending money on the loved ones. The give is, is the, to me, the Christmas spirit, you know. I love to give. It's not about getting. So... Uh, Halloween, uh, was really good. I had a good Halloween. Now, obviously I mentioned this in previous painting with Jays. I don't think I've filmed since Halloween. I definitely don't think I've filmed a painting with Jays since Halloween. Um, this is probably my first one this month, but, um, my, my dream was like when I was a kid, if you ever got like a full size chocolate bar, that made your frickin' night, right? Like, the full-size chocolate bar house was the coolest house. And so, I decided, because I know that my on my street, it's not it's a big street, but not that many people actually hand out candy. Right? Most people on either side of me don't do it. So, and then last year, so for this reason, I know, like, maybe if people already know ahead of time, they avoid my street. My street is not busy. Like, um, I only got, last year, like, 25 kids. So this year, I went to Costco, and I bought full-size chuckle bars. You know, it didn't cost me very much. I think I spent like 20 bucks, and got 36 a bunch of varieties. And that's what I did. And as predicted, I got about 25 kids. And I made their nights. Every time the kids, I, I, and what I did was I let the kid choose which chocolate bar they wanted. So that was even better. I, mean, I just didn't hand them like a coffee crisp. Oh, I, th I thought coffee crisp was going to be the least sought after. It was actually one of the most sought after. Kids like coffee crisp, apparently. But it really made their night. Like it, They really lit up. Several kids were like, best house ever. I'm like, yeah. On a side note, I really should, my pumpkin is still out there. Now, I didn't carve it. So it hasn't gone rotten or anything. It's just kind of frozen right now. Good. There's only not much more metallics left. Yep. This is going to be a pretty simple piece of train painting. I'm not going too crazy out. You know, it's a train. So typically the focus is on the models, but, um, going to make it look decent, I think. So yeah, it was really cool. I did that, and the parents even were like, what? A couple parents were like, full size? I was like, yeah. You know, made the kids' rights. That's awesome. You know. So what else has happened? Pretty much, I work. That's all I do. I work. I'm, uh, I play a little Pokemon Go. I'm, people ask me about that. Do I still play? Because it was in some of my vlogs from a uh, from Gen Con. Oh, I might as well talk about Adepticon as well. So I'm probably going to Adepticon. Um, and 
So the booking for events was last week. I booked myself for a couple of things, not too much. Uh, a couple of GW things. GW is really going to um, Adepticon this year. Like they're really coming to do stuff, and that's really cool. I'll talk about that in a sec. So yeah, I still play Pokemon Go. And the big news of this week, of course, was that obviously there's an event going on right now, but uh, Ditto was finally put into the game. So I can't find that little dude. I've caught in like a hundred comp, no, not a hundred easily, um, well, like three hundred common Pokemon. And I've not found a ditto. I'm guessing there's always like one in every 15 that like just runs away after one throw. And I'm guessing it's that one is ditto each time. So. But uh, I'll catch that little bugger eventually. Yeah, I'm having fun. I have, uh, I've caught like 132. My dex is 132 of the 100. And there's only like 143 that you can catch depending on where you live. Because certain ones have not been released yet. And other ones are country are continent specific. Like I can't catch a Mr. Mime yet. So that's fun. I still play it. I use it as an excuse to um, every day I try to get out. You know, this year one of my secondary challenges was just get into a little bit better shape. Because I've allowed I allowed, you know, like when you're in a relationship for long term and you just get busy in life, you allow yourself to get complacent and you uh, sometimes you gain weight. It's kind of what happens, you know? And so I really wanted to lose a bit of weight this year, and I've lost about 20 pounds, which is good. I'd like to lose a little bit more, not too much more, but the fact that I've not eaten a lot of fast food lately helps as well. So it's a double, it's a, you know, it's a two for one. I don't spend as much money on food. I spend nowhere near as much money on food anymore. And I'm eating uh, significantly healthier. To the point now where I don't I don't crave fast food at all, but I, I've occasionally had it, and I'm like, ah, I don't know, it doesn't have that same, you know, taste. If you know what I mean. Anybody's given up fast food before. Look at that. So we're about 20 minutes in, and I painted almost a side. It's not bad. I'll do the exterior part first, and then the interior. Sorry, my foot's falling asleep, so I'm just adjusting my foot. For a Gen Con, or sorry, Adepticon, a couple things. I'm, uh, I think I'm going. But there's kind of, uh, I may not. I may have a conflict of uh, interest, not a conflict of interest, a uh, conflict of schedule. So I'm still booked. In, and so what this year uh, I usually do VIG. And this year I didn't uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, um, I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily go, and I didn't want to take up the VIG spot for someone else. Right. And this year, right now, the Canadian dollar is so weak relative to the American that I, it's really hard to justify the VIG. I mean, obviously, it goes to you know helping them out and stuff. And the swag bag is cool. I just haven't used much of the swag bag from last year. And unfortunately, a lot of the benefits of the VIG line have disappeared. Like, you used to stand in your own lineup, which is cool, but I don't mind standing in the other lineup, right? And just chilling with my friends and talking. It goes by pretty quickly. And... Um, there used to be that you got into the like the stores an hour early. That's gone, right? Um, the swag bag, which you can just purchase now on its own, and as I said, now you can just buy a normal ticket. I really like the way that they did that. That's kind of a, that's a very intelligent move. So that way you can just buy a normal ticket. If you don't want the swag bag, you just buy a normal ticket for thirty bucks versus the VIGs. Now, due to the relative weak Canadian dollar, it's almost a hundred dollar difference in Canadian between the um, the normal one and the VIG. So I figured, you know what, I can just save a little and then spend that money elsewhere. Like I could put it towards, I really want to get that games, the, um, the games and gears, I think it's games and gears. I could be wrong, but the, um, they did the really awesome terrain pieces that are the, um, the objective markers I might get that this year. All right. And that's about, the, that's almost the difference. It's right there. So I can get those instead and use those for my battle reports. And that'd be awesome, right? It'd be a great little addition for my battle reports to have those on the table. That's a mistake. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
So you guys will get to see my, my new table soon. I think it'll be next week's battle report. And yes, there'll be a battle report next week. Uh, I'm going to said this is hopefully going to stay as my normal. I'm hoping to get my content back into regularity. Four to probably about three to four videos a week for free. Three to four videos a week of warp. And start from there. Work my way towards taking over the world again. You know, This year... I might make a video talking about my year. This year's been interesting. It really has been. Now we're only in November. Well, we're actually almost done November. It's November 25th. But it's been a really... It's a year that I didn't see coming. And at the end, do I feel stronger because of it? I don't know. I don't know. A lot has changed. A lot has changed. You know? Um, yeah. You know, I started the year on such a high such a high edit yes last year was my best year ever for making videos best year ever making videos and i had all these goals and one of them was obviously get the new gaming table together and it was awesome i did that eventually um but all these goals and they fell to the ground once my marriage also fell to the ground you know and it, it probably because i didn't see the end coming I didn't prepare, and uh, I, I spent some money unnecessarily, which happens, right? And I've spent most of this year working and trying to just survive financially. And now I'm at a point where I'm, I'm not in the best financial situation by any means, but I, I finally sucked it up and started making some life decisions. I bit the bullet, and now I'm... I th I'm confident that next year, like, I'm, I'm hoping that the worst is behind us and that next year won't be as amazing as probably last year, but, uh, for views and stuff, but I have the chance to bring my channel back significantly. And that's, that's what I really hope to accomplish. Uh, plus I needed some time off. I really did. Um, I was shell shocked for a while, you know, and I, I can't thank you viewers enough for all you people for supporting me and for understanding for understanding is my, f you know. So, yeah. I think that the, potentially, you know, the, the the worst is behind me. And I hope so, at least. I really hope so. There's a good chance of that. And I will hoping that this is a, a, a turning point has been hit. Where I can focus a lot more on videos. And get my videos back up. Because right now it's about, I'm getting, like, at the end of last year, I was getting about 100,000 views a month. And now I'm getting about 50. So I'm about half the views I was. Probably because I'm putting a lot less content. And also there haven't been that many codex reviews and stuff, which I gotta get back on to. I, didn't, I missed a couple. I did some. Uh, one I should have really done, which in the end I didn't do because I was gone that weekend, was uh, Steeler Cult. Gene Steeler Cult was... One of them that I kind of regret not doing. There we go. Now I'm just gonna take a fine brush after this and just clean up a couple areas that I'm, or a smaller brush at least, and just uh, clean up a couple areas that I've were able to get. Look at that, though. You know we're about halfway through the painting with Jay, and the piece of terrain is coming alive. It's it's. Obviously, this wouldn't be battle report ready yet. I I still wash it and do a wash and or shade and then keep going. But um, here, let me just quickly clean up some lines a little off screen so that I can just hold it near me. It started snowing yesterday, and I threw up my back again. I really think I should get a snow blow. The only problem is I don't have a very big driveway. 
not big enough to really justify the purchase of a snowblower, or you know, the smaller ones that are called snow throwers. Really not enough to justify it. But then, like yesterday, I shoveled the driveway for 20 minutes and I hurt my back. Which, again, nothing makes you feel older than throwing out your back. Like, that's a sign, like, you're old. When you can't shovel the driveway anymore, ouch. You know? So, I could ask my housemate, but I really don't want her to have to do it. So, I'm going to have to figure that one out. There we go. Good. A little messy. But it's just, a, it, you know, it'll be in the background. The focus is always on the miniatures and the dice, so... In this particular instance, it's not the worst. Maybe I should paint these, t these tops too. There won't be that much color on this. I'm going to paint the wirings maybe red. Just to get it, you know, another color in there. But this piece will not have that many colors. So yeah, it started snowing. And, well, of course, it's Canada, but you keep saying. But, uh, like, last year, it depends. Like, this year, it depends on the winter. Last year, for example, it didn't honestly snow. Like, we didn't get any snow, really, until January. I was riding my motorcycle on Christmas Eve. So, there's really not that, you know. But this year, it's already snowed twice. And I live in central Ontario. So we get a lot of, when it when it snows, we get a lot. We get a lot because, you know, like, um, my friends and, and sorry, I got to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. So, like, my friends live, in, you know, back in my home place of Guelph. And, um, my other family, they, uh, some of them get snow where they live. But most of them, it's like, it's raining there. When it's raining there, or like a mix of snow and rain there, we're getting snow. That's usually the, the rule of thumb. You usually subtract a few degrees Celsius. So, two or three degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, or two degrees Fahrenheit, I'd say. And it, it's like raining there and snowing here. So... It's been a good fall so far. Good autumn. Uh, I keep forgetting that. Like, it feels like winter, so we quickly write off, you know, the season. We're like, oh, yeah, it was a great winter, or it's a great autumn. But autumn's only, like, two-thirds over, right? There's still a month left of autumn bef officially before, you know, winter hits. But, of course, we're already feeling winter, so we're like, oh, winter's here. It's winter. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to start going on some trips to get my GW products or just start ordering. I really don't want to order from GW directly because their MSRP, like it's the worst price as possible. But the, most of the things I want right now are store uh, specific. And you have to buy $75 worth of stuff. Otherwise, you'd pay for shipping. And now shipping is extremely expensive because it ships from the States. So, yeah, it's, it's actually can be quite expensive so I really want to buy that $75 worth of stuff so I bought another piece of terrain and a couple other things so I said using a little bit of the money for my patreon it's actually through my patreon that I was able to get that new table so the funds are, are really being used well, look at this. It's coming along. But in this video, I'll probably have the bronze or the brass done. And then time for a wash. I'll do that off camera. This, video, this piece will definitely be done before next week's painting with Jay. Yeah. And there will be one next week, I hope. Because I'm going to try to find the time. I'm going to. 
So I'm hoping that if I can bite, if I can just get up the courage, I want to hand in my two weeks notice probably today or tomorrow, maybe the next day. Um, and just quit my part-time job and work my, my full-time job. film and if I can make a little bit more than I you know if I can increase my income just slightly for my videos I'm in good shape look at this it's coming along It's not doing too badly yet, you know, the piece is starting to come to life. And uh, we'll have a little dude on it soon. Where are we at now? 35 minutes. Perfect. I'll keep going. This is going to take like half a pot of brass scorpion, whatever. I'll have to go to Lindsay to buy some or order from GW. Yeah, the, unfortunately, the Peterborough, as I said, the Peterborough Gaming Store, uh, it had a fire sale, but while I was at uh, Gen Con, Gen Con? I don't remember. I had a fire sale at one point, and I was out of, I was in way at that point. And they burned off all their stock. It was only like 20% off, but still. So, it's all gone. They no longer carry any GW products. They're going to start carrying maybe more P3 or something. But this community really isn't that responsive to P3 products. Like, there's no War Machine Hordes community really in Peterborough. That's unfortunate, but... Uh... days off in a, in a week that'd be kind of nice a day off a week would be really kind of fun a lot of holiday movies and it's weird this year like holiday movies have really been like everywhere for like weeks already there have been so many I've watched Elf already three or two or three times Elf's one of my favorite Christmas movies Scrooge is one of them too uh, Ernest Saves Christmas is probably my favorite and it's just so cheesy but I love it so yeah I don't have any holiday plans at least with now being separated means less holiday plans. I like that. Easier to plan. I can just... My parents are divorced, so I'll see my father on Christmas Day and my mother on Boxing Day. Perfect. Look at that. So, look at this piece. You know, it's, it was just all gray at the beginning. Now it's going to be gray and bronze. So, I'll do this one. No, perfect. What other things? Uh, have I seen any movies lately? No, I want to go see Moana. I bet it'd be pretty funny. Um, I did see... Oh, what? Star Wars comes out soon. That'll be good. A couple weeks. Star Wars.
Star Wars would be a really good movie. I can't wait to see Rogue One. I already know the ending. Well, you already know. You know. The eventual ending of the series, but. Uh, so that'll be good. Rogue One will be this year. And I can't wait to see Rogue One. Uh, Moana. It's actually been a lot of fun. Now, I am. I'm dating again. Now, I've talked about this in a couple other videos. I am dating again. And it's kind of funny that I, when I started going through all the stuff in my house, I found like $175 in gift cards to movie theaters. So I've been seeing movies and I've been having a good time and, and you know, even going on dates and uh, using the gift cards. It's kind of funny. So free dates for Jay, you know, it's, it's been good. Movies. Yeah. I like to see movies or films, should I say. Yeah, um, yeah. Moana and, and Star Wars are probably what I'm going to see next. But yeah, it's going to be good for Christmas plans. Not going to be too busy. Not as crazy of driving as I'm kind of used to. I might crash at my sister's house halfway uh, to my like uh, my father's Christmas is going to be at my sister's house. But we'll see. I'll probably come back that night and then maybe go to my mother's house the next day. And we'll figure it out. It won't be too hard to figure out. Not that much. It won't. It's nowhere near as much driving. And that's kind of nice, you know, you know, it's one of the few benefits of, of not being married at the moment is that I don't need to split my Christmas that badly next year if I'm dating someone probably or whatever. But, uh, in the meantime, you know, there's definite upsides and also I spend a lot less because I have a lot less people to spend. Now, obviously, um, my ex-wife would contribute as well, but, um, I used to do pretty much all the Christmas shopping. She was kind of lazy with that. So, she didn't like, she wouldn't even like to shop for her own parents. Pokemon Go is going to get a little bit more difficult than it's cold. So they got to figure out, Niantic's got to figure out a way to, uh, to get me back outside. Now, obviously, I'm going to continue to do my walks, but it's just it's going to get harder when it's, you know, minus 10 outside. Remove that paint because it's totally going to fall over. I set up my tree last night at like 11 o'clock at night. That was kind of cool. I, I haven't decorated it yet, but I uh, just put it up. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to Adept to Come. Oh yeah, this year, GW's really going out. They're doing several events. They're showing new products and stuff. It's like... Really cool. I'm not going to do... Um, I looked at a lot of the... the uh, some of the painting things that I wanted to do were already sold out. Like the ones with Angel are always sold out instantly. Of course, they're so expensive too. And of course, working at the Badger booth, he usually comes and shows some stuff anyway so I can see do work anyway um so yeah i won't do that many events i'm probably just gonna go bring an army have some fun film some battle reports as always help a badger meet people enjoy life you know it does i, I knew it would get better I, I was not pessimistic or anything i knew it would blow over eventually with all the, the crap and it does just takes time and i'm happy that i'm finally kind of there uh, not a hundred percent, obviously, because if I can, well, if I can quit one of my other jobs, actually, it would really help, you know. Um, yeah, that would really, really help. So I would be a lot less tired.
So. I definitely gonna put out a lot of videos. Plus, for those who don't know, um, December is like the best month to make YouTube videos. It's by far the most profitable because ad revenues are at their highest. Christmas ads, right? Everyone wants ads. So. But you know me, I only put one ad usually in the middle of my video, one at the beginning of the end. And that's also why I got some criticism lately because it's I call free content versus paid content. And the paid content is is the warp, right? You have to pay to see it. The free content is what you don't have to watch. You know, obviously you can watch a couple ads and that's okay. People have criticized me for putting ads knowing that it's Patreon sponsored as well. But the Patreon just helps, right? It doesn't, um, by no means does my Patreon funds cover the amount I would make from ads. It's to help. I use it for, for more train pieces and, and, you know, keeping the videos going and stuff. But, so obviously if you want to help support my Patreon campaign, link in the description below as always. Um, they have a huge, you know, there's a huge help. If not, no problem. Just watch my videos. Support my videos, share, like, comment. Be a part of it. That's all I need. Look at this. Jay painting some terrain. After this bronze, I'm probably going to call it because we're already at 45 minutes. And... So, plus it's going to have to dry a little bit before I start doing shades. But yeah, this thing is going to be done. Like, I'm not going to, this will definitely not be what I'm working on next week for my painting with Jay. Maybe another terrain piece. Probably another one. Or, what else? I picked up those crates. Now, a lot of people use them for the rules. Now, I, I didn't even, I kind of forget that there are even rules with them. But I just got them because I wanted to them as a terrain piece for battle reports. I figured it would look awesome with them on the battlefield, my city table. So I'm gonna paint them up over the next few weeks as well. But there'll probably be an airbrush. I'm gonna probably do an airbrush 101 on them. So. Yeah, it's coming along. Look at that. So Jay's just had one piece in his hand and... One color. That's okay. You know what? Look how much I've gotten done. I've painted for 45 minutes. I've sat down and I got some work done. And then this will be, you know, an underappreciated piece on my battlefield because, you know, people, as I said, people, you know, I, I have so much respect for train people like Trainaholic and especially Greenleaf, man. Adam, I know you're watching this probably, but they, they, they create the landscape for the battle reports. And obviously for battle reports, people tend to focus on the, the dice rolls and the models and, but the train makes the cinema, you know, the cinematic feel of it, creates the feel. So, huge respect for them. Good. That's about it. That's all I wanted to do today. Get that done. And I'll hit it with a shade. Um, yeah. And then, look at that. That'll be enough for a battle. This is like battle report worthy train. It will be at least. I'll do a dry brush and I'll do some other small colors and stuff to bring out certain details. And let's call it now. So that concludes another painting with Jay. I really hope you got stuff done too. And enjoyed talk, me talking and, and got, so, got work done. Maybe you're working on train pieces. Maybe you're working on models. Maybe you're building. Like whatever you're doing, I hope you got some work done. That's the key. These things are just setting aside a part of your day or of your week just to get a little bit of modeling done. Awesome stuff there. So as always, thank you so much, everyone, for painting along with me. I really hope you enjoyed this week's painting with Jay and this week's content. And prepare. It's it's going to slowly but surely come back. I'm hoping that, as I said, the 
lowest point is behind me and that from now on I can just work on more and more content for you all. And as always, this is a free video, so it's brought to you by all my Patreon subscribers as you can see them beside me. And uh, if you want to help support my campaign, link in the description below. It really does help a lot and really helps keep my videos coming. So thank you as always to Langston. This is Jason. Happy painting with me.